Alright, welcome back everyone to another Texan video and I'm gonna be showing you how to changing how to change keyboard layouts in uh, Windows Vista and Windows 7. Uh what I mean by this is that you can change the language to type in, probably Microsoft Word or something. And it's really easy. Now over here I can just simply change it to whatever the language I want. I have English, Arabic and French. So if I if I want this option to appear or add more languages, what I'll do is that I'll go to the control panel, scroll down on it it has to be in classic view, and you're gonna click on regional and language settings. Next you're gonna go to the keyboard and languages tab and you're gonna click on change keyboards. Now over here what you can do is that you can add keyboards or edit them. So I'll click on add, find the language you want. I don't want French in this case because uh, I don't type it. So let's find well okay in this case I'll just leave it as Arabic. So find the country that uses Arabic, uh, in that case Arabic UAE. In every la uh, language, it's like that. You're gonna click on our, uh, you're gonna bring the drop down menu and you get keyboard and other. Open the menu on the keyboard and click Arabic 101 or whatever it is. Let's say, okay, back to French. French, keyboard, and you're gonna click on French. Click OK. If you wanna know how the keyboard looks like, what you can do is go to properties, and this is how the keyboard looks like. Otherwise you could get a separate keyboard which displays what the keys are. So this is what it looks like when you're gonna type. Just say OK, OK, OK again. Now let's open up Notepad. Type in English as usual. Um, hello. Now over here we're gonna click on Arabic. And let me just see if I can type this in. Uh, oh wait, it's back to English for some reason. Okay. Mar. Hub. Ba. This is Arabic I'm typing. I'm not sure if this is right. I think. It's supposed to say Marhaba, which means, um, hello. But if any of you that speak Arabic, just tell me if I wrote it right. I'm still practicing. And let's press enter again. Now let's check out French. Let's see what happens if I press the A key. It gives Q. And then when I press Q, it gives A. So it's different. And, uh, I think it also gives some different keys, see? Okay. So, yeah, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, want to subscribe for more. So thanks for watching and have a great day.